time to come to bed with me. I have a seven step regime. I have pretty normal skin, luckily, but I do travel a lot. So I have to really amp up the moisturizer at times and use more masks. So I'll start by taking my makeup off, a cleansing oil, a exfoliating lotion, a serum, moisturizer, eye cream, and lip balm. So I start taking my makeup off with Bioderma. I uh, just put it on a cotton pad. It's super gentle, but it still manages to remove all of your eye makeup, which is amazing. I'm gonna start, start there, little rub. More recently, I've uh, become more into beauty care. As we all get older and we live such busy schedules and don't sleep probably enough, uh, it's important to look after your skin from the outside as well as within. Um, yeah, there are definitely times when I'm just too tired to take it off, but it's a no-no, so follow these steps instead. <laughs> I use a pad just for this one to take off makeup because otherwise your white flannels are gonna be disgusting. So yeah, definitely take off the makeup with that. It can be quite rough because then I'm gonna follow up with a cleansing oil. This is a cleansing oil. There, You can just use a face wash as well, but I really like this because it's doesn't dry your skin out. It's very moisturizing, but it still, you know, gets it all off to a deeper layer than what just the makeup will. So a pump of that and then just kind of rub it in. It feels beautiful being an oil rather than, you know, a foam that gets a bit messy and then you can really um, like massage it and make sure you get everywhere. Um, and then once you add some water to it, so after that, you can use your flannel to dry your face because you're not going to get a whole lot of makeup on it. So pat that all off. Maybe, you know, three times, four times a week, I might use a, you know, a heavier exfoliator as well. Um, but it's not necessary every night because you just don't need to strip your skin that much. The next step, I've just found this uh, P50 lotion. It's like an exfoliating lotion. So without having to scrub your skin, you can either use a cotton pad or just straight on the face, which I sometimes do. I use it every night, but if you have more sensitive skin, I think you can tone it back to a couple times a week or three times a week. And if you have a problem area that you need to dry out, like a pimple or something, you can actually put it on a cotton pad and leave it on there. And so that will help get anything else. I think my beauty regime has changed significantly over time because one, growing up in New Zealand, weren't so focused on beauty. It was kind of just going to the beach, fresh face, no makeup. But now obviously modeling, I have makeup on and off me all the time. I'm constantly traveling. So I do feel like I need a more thorough clean and you know, just you know, stop the wrinkles before they happen. The next step is a serum. I love using serums because they actually reach a deeper layer of your skin. Moisturizers often can just sit on the top. There's a few different serums that I love. Chanel one is great, but the Clarins Double Serum is really smart. So it's got two separate kind of containers in here and you twist it around, rub them with your hands to combine them together and I think it activates whatever magic stuff is in there. And then you just press it into your skin rather than rubbing. I think the patting is, yeah, more to sink it in e evenly over your skin rather than rubbing it and maybe you're rubbing it off at the same time. It's just what, you know, beauty experts have told me in the past, so following their orders. Next up is a moisturizer. I really like this Chanel Le Solution 10 because it's only got 10 ingredients and it's super simple. So even if you have sensitive skin, I've been advised to use this. Lather it on. It's not the richest, but it is a perfect everyday moisturizer. So if I'm flying, I will use something heavier or if I feel like I'm particularly dry, I will, you know, go for something else. The hardest thing for me to do is just to remember to get up and do all of this before passing out. And then, yeah, just to be gentle on your skin. There are a lot of products that have, you know, a lot of very drying elements. Um, and there's just so much noise out there. So you have to, you know, figure out what skin type you have and what works for you and just try some things out. So next, I will use an eye cream. I love this La Mer eye cream, it's quite rich. In the morning, I will use one that is more anti-puffy eyes. It might have a little bit of caffeine in it or a little roll-on, but this is great for moisturizing around the eye area. I'll put a little dab on my finger. 
And finally, lip balm. I always find myself getting the driest lips, especially if I'm flying or not drinking enough water, and that is a major thing if you find yourself getting dry lips. Uh, this Barbara Stern one's fabulous. It's very rich and creamy. I put way too much on, but why not? Make some kissable. If I um, have extra time and I'm just chilling at home too, I love the Sizzly Mask. So you leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes and really add some moisture. Or if you're brave, these sheet masks from 111 Skin are incredible. In the morning, I am a firm believer of using a jade roller. I really love them for getting rid of a puffy face. Like sometimes if you're flying or if you had a salty meal, you just wake up and you're like, what is this? If all else fails, cold spoons in the fridge over the eyes works a treat. In the morning, I tend to keep it the same. I will go for, this moisturizer is fine in the morning, but generally if there's something with an SPF or follow it up with some SPF. I love the Barbara Serm Sun Drops. Even if you don't think you're going outside, you're always walking down the street and catching some rays, so very important. And then to finish my routine, I always give a little spray of my favorite perfume, just around my neck because you never know, you still might want to be sexy. Well, thank you for getting unready with me. See you next time.